What up guys, this is Quantum Nerd, here with an unboxing. I'm proud to present the Master Air Maker 8, and this thing is massive, ladies. Well, at least the biggest air cooler I've ever seen, which caused a small problem, and you will find out at the end of this video! <laughs> Master Air Maker 8 by Cooler Master. When I bought this, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Because of the dimensions for this thing are off the chart. I tell you what, when I purchased this cooler on Newegg.com, it never occurred to me to check the size of this fat bastard. As you can see, there is a big list of information to go with this enormous size, but I will only go over the basic specs that are essential to this product. The reason why I needed to buy a new cooler to begin with was because I just recently bought an HCC Vive, and for those of you who don't know what a HCC Vive is, and I can't imagine why you wouldn't, because it's pretty amazing. But in case I will leave a link below to tell you more about it. The Vibe device requires a more beefier system in a nutshell. Which is why I bought an AVGA 970 graphic card. And also I made a video prior about this card in case you want to learn more about it. And I also bought a new FX 8350 processor. And not knowing how hot it would get during intensive gaming. My computer would crash after playing 15 minutes at 80 Celsius. Which is pretty darn hot. Sorry, got a little off track, so let's get back to the Master Air 8. Right when you open the lid, you will notice one of the most brilliant packaging displays that's very welcoming. They have really done well when doing this. They separated four boxes inside, including the cooler on, in the center, categorizing what's inside each one, simplifying and organizing their product. Way to go, Cooler Master. Thank you for that. And you're greeted with the 12 centimeter fan brackets, top plate, Manual and accessories. Let's take a look at the manual accessories. All right, I gotta clear the table here. Give me a second. Sorry, this is takes some room when you're pulling these um, items out. It comes with a lot of stuff. When opening the Master Air Maker 8 accessory manual, we notice all our thumb screws are dislodged from the box, which tends to happen during shipping, unfortunately. But it looks like nothing was damaged, and it also comes with a thermal paste. And also, we have here the Master Air Maker 8 manual. We will definitely need this to assist us in our build for this cooler. And we also have the brackets for our AMD. Pretty sweet. And we also have the Intel in there as well, but we will not be using that. And we also have some more brackets. I believe that's for the Intel brackets. We won't be using that. And we have a wire here that will power on the LED lights and the two 140 millimeter fans. All right, so let's take a look at the brackets. Now there's not much to say about these uh, brackets. Basically what it does is it converts your, your fans to a smaller size, which I believe it might be a 120 millimeter fan. And if, just for the sake, I'm just speeding up the video because there's really not much more to talk about. And we're gonna go ahead and move on to the top plate. All right, so basically um, the fan automatically comes with a piano finish, but this comes with the option to change that to a, um, I believe, a, kind of a gunmetal finish. And the great thing about this plate is you can actually paint it. You can actually scrub off the black paint. It's been uh, iodized, I believe, and you can actually repaint it as many times as you want. And uh, I think this actually looks a lot better than the one that's on there, but I was eager to put it all together, so I kind of left it out. All right, now we're going to move on to the cooler. I'm just going to pull it out of the big box here. Give me one moment. It's time to unbox the Master Air Maker 8. Cue the unboxing Master Air Maker 8 montage. Oons, 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 oons. Yeah. Look at it and bask in its glory with its towering fans and heat pipes. The Master Air 8 sports an amazing 172 millimeters in height and also with an 80 millimeter width CPU based by 50 millimeters. And going top side at 145 millimeter wide by 135 millimeters length. The Master Air 8 weighs a whopping 758 grams, which is pretty heavy, so bear in mind when using this in a tower that holds the motherboard sideways, so I wouldn't move your PC while it's in this position. 
What's special about the 6mm pipes is that I think you will find really interesting is that the material is designed with a vapor chamber and 3D VC technology. What's VC you ask? Well, it's a coolant, but not the kind you use in your car. With this coolant, it turns into a gas when heated, providing optimal cooling, protecting your CPU from overheating and performance. Rock on! Alright, we're ready to remove my old cooler, which is just a run-of-mill cooler ultra brand with a 140mm fan and below that is my new EVGA 970, which I will do a benchmark on very soon. When replacing a cooler, it is a good idea to remove the old thermal paste and lay down a fresh coat. I personally prefer Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste rather than using the stock brand paste that came with the cooler. I just seem to have a better result using Arctic Silver in the past, so I'm going to stick with, to what I know. You know the saying, if it isn't broken, why fix it? You can try to clean the paste off the processor while still plugged into the motherboard, but it's recommended to remove it from the motherboard so you won't risk bumping into any components. First, all you need to do is lift up the small retention bar, then carefully pull up on the processor slowly. You wouldn't want to bend any of those delicate pens. Thermal paste is very adhesive, like glue especially when it's been placed over a few years. Just grab a paper towel and wet it and scrub thoroughly. And be careful not to touch the paste because it is hard to wash off. Once you're finished cleaning the paste, place the processor back into the chamber and make sure that the gold triangle in the corner of the chip lines up with the other triangle on the chamber. Not doing so may cause the pens on the chip not fitting right and may damage them. Then pull down the retention bar to fasten the chip in place. Okay, now that that's off, we still have to remove the old bracket that held the previous cooler because it's not compatible with the new one. In fact, most brands are not interchangeable with other bracket mounts. What tools do we need to use, you ask? A Phillips screwdriver, of course. Now that the old brackets are removed, it's time to install the master air brackets. I have a Gigabyte AMD motherboard, so those are the kind of brackets I will need. Remember the manual I mentioned earlier? You may need this to help you with the placement of the bracket like I did. Well, the Master Air Maker 8 was a huge success, but the only issue is I can't even put the lid over the machine because the air cooler is just too tall. So I will have to get a new tower for, uh, for this cooler. I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope to see you again in the next one. Take care.